Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Computing, and I'm here with Matt Dalio, uh, who is the founder of Endless OS, Endless Computing, and he's got two new Endless Computers. This is the Mission and the Mission Mini. They're both uh, small form factor, and they're designed for use in sale in the United States, which is a little bit different from some of the earlier machines from the company. Uh, this is a model that's uh, a little bit larger, you can see, and it has an Intel Atom or an Intel Celeron Bay Trail processor. This model is going to be a little bit smaller and cheaper, and has an ARM-based uh, M Logic processor. And the prices for the two are this is 249, and this is 129. All right. And so, what made you decide uh, after sort of doing uh, educational computers for the developing market? What made you decide that you're going to bring some of these to the U.S. this year? Yeah. So up until now, we've been focused on emerging markets. Um, emerging markets. What we had to do was take Linux, which has historically been really complicated, and we had to make it super simple for someone who's never used a computer before, right? Um, what happened was we launched our computer, our operating system, as a downloadable OS earlier this year. We found that a ton of people in the U.S. were saying, I want that. And part of the reason was because as we built this operating system for emerging markets, we found that like, we, you know, we just we are convicted to believe that everyone deserves the best. So we hired the best designers in San Francisco, and the best designers in Rio de Janeiro, and the best Linux engineers literally in the world, and we pulled them together to build an incredible operating system. And what we found was that when that was in the open market for download, that it really resonated. So we did two things to launch us to the U.S. The first was that we built hardware specifically for the U.S. Now we're primarily, almost entirely, a software company, but we do have, obviously, you know, a hardware team that I'm very proud of that can build great hardware. So the first announcement today at CES is that we are launching the Mission Computer and the Mission Mini Computer as industrial design objects that you could be proud to have in your home. Um, the second announcement that we're, la we're launching today is Endless Code. Now, Endless Code is based on the premise that it, there's a bunch of great resources out there to learn to code. It's a really darn important thing. 90% of parents want their kids to learn to code, and 2% of kids are learning to code. And that's a real problem, because if you look to the future, like where is opportunity, really, you need to be tech savvy. It doesn't mean you have to be a programmer for a living, but you do need to know how to work with it. And so what we have done is we've looked at the landscape and said, sort of, the actual idea started really with sort of not the, the problem, but the solution in some sense, which is um, this realization that as we were interviewing all these engineers, most people who learned to code and are these really great engineers learn because they loved playing video games. They discovered they could hack their video games, and then they discovered that it was more fun to hack their video games than to play their video games. And so as we looked at this, we realized, well, what if you built a platform that was surrounded by that very premise? Just get people excited, get kids excited, get them hooked on all that is possible for a computer to do. Get them into the middle of like the code behind games. Get them into the code behind literally that runs the operating system. And so we built a series of features that are focused really on first guiding people to the best resources that are already out there, right? Effectively curate all those resources. The second piece is to really remove the barriers that make it scary. So we have a feature, for example, that allows you to flip the screen to an application in 3D space and see all the code that powers it, make any changes you want, click a button, and it shares to, the, it, it shares to your desktop, and then you can share it to the world. And the last piece really is just to make it invigorating and exciting. So you can come down here um, and you can open, for example, the weather application. The weather application, we're not connected to the internet right now, normally it would show the weather. You can click this button and this little button right here will then flip the operating system in 3D, flip the application in 3D space, will download all of the source code and will show it so that you can now make any changes to it and with one click, you can then um, make your changes. We've got on the desktop a number of other features, so sort of now everything is chat-based, so we've got these characters. One of the other things we've found is that everyone who learned to program had someone who was nudging them, so the idea of someone who was guiding them along the process. So we've built into this desktop the ability to have someone effectively serve that role um, so that you, know, you are able to learn to code um, we got a whole bunch of other features built into here that I won't show you to spend too much time showing you, but the core premise of what we have done is that if you are a kid and you want a fun way to learn to program, this is the platform. This is the thing that will guide you to all of it. And if you are a parent that wants your kid to learn to program and you don't know where to begin, you can do one of two things. You can buy this device or you can go to our website, endlessm.com, you can download the operating system, put it on your existing computers, it's free. 
you put that computer, that device, into your kids' hands, and the idea is we will take care of the rest. We will make it so that they want to learn and that they can. Like and these will be available for purchase when? These are available for purchase uh, in two weeks, on the 16th. Okay. And, um, and so again, what we're looking at here is uh, inexpensive, uh, fanless, small form factor machines designed to run uh, Linux-based endless OS operating system, open source, and uh, hackable, editable, lets you learn to code. Uh, or if you're just looking for a simple, easy to use operating system, I mean, grown-ups can use it too if you're learning to code. This is a computer for the family. Yeah. And, um, and uh, if you just wanted a device that can run a different operating system, you could buy it. It comes with endless OS. But if you really wanted to, you could install Ubuntu on it. You could install Windows on it. I'm just not sure why you would necessarily do that instead of buying a machine that came with Windows, right? The idea really is you the devices put what you want on them. But really, the idea, what well, we have found, again, the reason we're here is because we have enough people telling us, come here, you built a great computer for the family. Something you can put in your living room, put it there, you know it's safe, you know it won't break, it's in good hands. Um, and so here we are in America. Uh, speaking of living rooms, I mean, is there are there like media applications on here if you wanted to put it in the living room for your TV, or is it really designed more for like the office, the bedroom? This is a full Linux OS, right? and the, the beauty of that is that it's got all of the things that you want. So for example, you can come in here, we've got an app store, and inside of this app store we have a whole ecosystem of applications with one click you install them. Right, so we've got uh, educational games here, but we've also got GIMP for image editing, we've got Tux Racer video games, uh, and all sorts of other things in a, in a slightly easier to interact with interface than you get in some versions of Linux, at least. So it definitely seems, uh, seems more kid-friendly. So again, this is Endless OS, the Mission uh, Mini and Mission uh, Computers, available in the middle of January, or a little bit uh, later in January, for $249 and $99. $129. <laughs> and this is Brad Linder with a little beauty.